Um, I am going to start in three, two, one. What the Basques, I'm going, what I'm going to show you is that the Basque community cares about a successful football club and one that actually exists in the long run. I'm going to have two cases. One is I'm going to talk about where this is going to be better for the Basque community specifically, why they care specifically about winning more and why this is likely to lead to more winning. And secondly, I'm going to show you um, why otherwise we think the club is likely to go down leagues or even end up go, disappearing entirely due to international pressures that, have, that arise due to the competitive pressure you have from lots of other people buying your players and things like that. Um, what I want to just, ex I want to, you know, something I'm just going to get into it. So I think that it's going to be better. I want to talk about pride, okay? Because I think that what opposition are likely to get up and say is that you get pride from seeing Basque players, and that's really good. And you know, you how you feel this kind of community within your Basque thing. I want to explain second why I think that it's actually the club itself that gives this community its pride, and what. It, and the players are actually a tiny fraction of this. Why is this? Number one, you have things like songs that people know about each other that are an integral part of building up of a community. You have flags and colors and other kinds of symbols like mascots that people go behind and go and join around, right? You have things like shared history, like previous um, victories you had, like winning the La Liga 20 years ago, like the cups that you win, and that kind of stuff. You have communal activities, like watching with your best friends, like going together to watch the Basque games. The Basque players don't actually take any part in any of these things, and oftentimes we think that they're a relatively small part of it. It's just like Intuition Pump, Ronaldo doesn't, didn't define Manchester United when he was a part of it. Manchester United was defined by the fans, by the community that they built around it, by the songs that they sang, by their belief within, in it and their identification with the club itself. We also think that this is likely on an analytical level. One, because you're very, you rarely actually meet these people. They're rich and they don't actually talk to you that often. Secondly, you often um, you look at them as a method of bringing the club success. You very rarely idealize them, but rather you idealize the fact that they brought, they gave you the, the, they led you to winning the league in that time. And thirdly, oftentimes you know that they're in this for the business and they're going to leave as soon as they get a better offer, which means that you don't get too attached to them specifically, but rather get attached to the club and what you believe it stands for. And notice on the comparative, I think that other players that we bring in will likely integrate basically as much as the Basque players do, right? These people live there. Like if I'm a player who moves to the Basque community, I like to live within this community, I'm a member of it, I, um, I, I, uh, I want to have friends there, the club itself is likely to want more outreach on the comparative because it understands that it's moving away from Basque players and so it's likely that you'll actually meet your role models more often than when they're actual Basque players and so we think we are more likely to have it. So now that I've explained why we think what's going to be most important is about the pride of actually taking the club from winning, um, I'll explain why we're going to get that and then I'll take a QI. So I think that it's likely that it's going to pride is built on success because A, that's what the game is actually about, right? That is what you are measured on. If you've constantly finished at the bottom of the table or near the bottom of the table but not actually demoted, then it's going to make you feel bad because other people are going to say that your club is bad. Other, um, you, there is nothing to take pride in if you're constantly not doing well. Um, Secondly, I think that you yourself measure, measure it that way, right? When, when players, when you don't succeed, when you constantly see your club failing, when you see the Basque players failing, when you see your style of football not working properly, then you don't take pride in that. Rather, you feel pretty bad about not being successful and seeing how you're actually a failure. Thirdly, we think that often you, you, if you go down a league, it means that you lose access to funding, and so you, you're, you can't actually see your, your, your games because they're not shown. Even if you don't go down a league, but rather you just, you know, your bottom of the table, then nobody's going to be filming your games when there are other games going on. So when La Liga has to choose between showing Real Madrid versus Barcelona or Atletico Bilbao versus, I don't know, Granada, they know which one they're going to put on the front page news, and that means you're not even going to be able to actually access your club to the same extent um, when, you, when, you, when you're not as successful. Um, tomorrow I think you're going to be more successful for two, for two main reasons. One, you're just going to have better players, right? I think that there is, today in the globalized market that exists, there is a huge, uh, ac there is a huge amount of access to international players and international scouting, right? This means that you both can buy players from abroad who are very good, who you've managed to identify as being under um, underpriced. And secondly, you can actually find players before they succeed abroad in like Africa or Argentina or whatever and bring them to your club for a much cheaper price than you would pay on the comparative. What this means is, is that you're, is that you're much more, uh, and notice this, if you don't engage in this, then your competitors are engaging in this and are finding better deals, right? So every second that you're, every player that you're not buying, who you could have identified, a different club may identify and bring in. So you are actually not just missing out on an opportunity, but there is an actual cost to this because somebody else is likely to identify him if you don't. The, secondly, there's also just better coaching probably, right? If, when you bring in players who've been exposed to a variety of different games, who've seen many different styles of play, this means they have more stylistic 
flexibility. This means that within the game, they are more able to adapt when there are other kinds of players, when other kinds of people who do things that they haven't seen until now. They're more able to switch up in the middle if it's necessary in order to win. Secondly, they just get exposure to more ideas and more kinds of football. And this means that they have, you know, they, they can actually coach and mentor other players within your club to a better way because they're not just set in their ways in one only kind of, di of direction that you can go. And this means that you're left with more options to win games within the games and with and with and like in general before the game as well. Before I continue and explain why we think otherwise the club is likely to buy to die, I'll take your POI from closing. Yeah, we prefer that the best are a nation, not a community, and that's how we reduce the chances the player cool. would live when they have a national pride and they will stay in the team because of this pride. Cool. I think that obviously if there's so much so insofar as there is national pride that exists on both sides of the house, we see factually that players like Ander Herrera leave their clubs because there is a lot of money and when you have to and most people don't care so much about the community they're willing to turn down hundreds of thousands of dollars a week in order to you know play for their community like I think that that's, there are very few people who are actually willing to do that but secondly I also just think that, that in order to have this kind of pride you need to be successful which I've already explained why you're less likely to be on your side and so there's not going to be that much pride but also I think that the degree of um, national pride that like the Basque community may be a nation but it's still a relatively small one there are less of them than there are I don't know like Jews or I don't know maybe two million at best and that means that just your pool of potential players is relatively small in comparison to other nations and in comparison to global markets why does this also mean that you're likely to die or suffer greatly in the long run otherwise understand that today clubs have a lot of local pressure right international clubs have a lot more money other within your league there are other clubs like Real Madrid like Barcelona like um, uh, blah, other Valencia who have a lot of money as well. In order to be able to compete with these company, with these players, and with people who come in and new billionaires who buy other clubs, like the guy who just bought, I think it's Granada, but honestly I don't remember. But whatever, this is happening all over the world as billionaires you bring in, buy up clubs in order to be like, ah, now I have my own private plaything. You need to be doing well enough in order to be able to attract top tier talent, and in order to do that, you have to be able to compete. You need access to the large pool of players that you otherwise can't see when you're only looking within your community. You need access to be able to scout them, like I already talked about. You need to be able to deal with the fact that if players feel like they're not playing for a good club they're going to move in order to be able to win in like La Liga or stuff like that like I don't know nobody wants to stay at a club where they're never going to win anything so if you're never going to win anything your players are going to leave for greener pastures where they're going to be able to win where they're going to get more money um, for these reasons we think this club will eventually lose we beg you to cross I'll begin in three, two, one. So two, two main points. Why, what, why the, why Athletic Bilbao's policy is necessary to preserve to, to preserve its un, its unique identity as a Basque club, and two, why, what, why it has a right to give to give to ha to hire only only Basque players. But before I go into that a bit. A bit of rebuttal. So we we heard from the prime minister that that the club is going to fold, that 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 it's going that it's going to fail, that 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 fan, that fans care and that fans really care about the club's success as a, as opposed to them to the individual players. So first, no, note that the that the club hasn't folded in in, in over a century. It's it's not in danger of relegation. Has it? Hasn't been for a while, and why is that? Because it, it's, instead of of spending lot, lots of money in order to attract to, to attract expensive players, they invest they invest most of their budget in the in their youth academy, and so they they have lots of high quality homegrown players. There, there's no reason to suppose that 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 policy is is going to is, go, is going to fail in the future, and and as to the idea that. That if that if they would just ditch this policy, they would suddenly be able to, be able to bring in another Ronaldo and and win some championships. Well, they, they're a relatively small, low-budget club. There, there's no way they can they can compete with the big three of Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Atletico Madrid. They they just don't have the money. They're out of the running anyway. So that 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 isn't a factor. So be. Before before I get, I move on to my points, just just a bit of framing. The Basques are an oppressed nation. They've been oppressed for centuries. 
Un until recently, their language has been banned, their flag has been banned, their national songs have been banned. Okay, they, 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 they have a breakaway movement that wants independence from Spain. It's been crushed by force. The Spanish constitution inherently is, ne is never to go going to, to grant them independence. And the thing is that that fo football there is really associated with politics. A Athletic Bilbao represents the Basque nationalists. And, uh, and he, he, here's, so, so at, have, having a Basque only player policy is necessary to preserve it, its unique identity. Why is that? What, what would happen if they give up on that policy? They, they would get, the club, the, the club would get flooded with Spanish players. Why is that? Because foreign, because foreigner limits don't, don't apply, uh, don't, don't apply to Spaniards. Of course, the Spaniards are the best footballers out there. And, and which, which means that, that effectively, as, as far as, as those fans would be concerned, Athletic Bilbao would become just another Spanish team. Like, it's not that now they view games against a, a Spanish club as a, actually a game, a game against their oppressors. Now, now, it, now it would be the Span, Spaniards play, playing against each other. A sporting triumph against the Spanish club would no longer be a Basque triumph over Spain. It would just be, it it would ju just be a a triumph of, of some Spanish players over over others. They, they, the fans would know that the players don't sympathize with it, with their cause. The, the players actually want that club, want, want the Basque country to remain in Spain by all probability. They, the the yeah. players have, don't have the, the, the same experience they have as, as Basques and fe feeling oppressed by the Spaniards. Now, before I continue, POI closing government, opening up. Yeah, the Catalonian club where people sing the Catalonian national anthem at the games, despite not having any Catalonian players. Why do you think that is? Okay, well, well person, personally, I, as, I, as I see it, the Catalan national movement has a, had a very different history from the Basque national movement. And yeah, Barcelona makes up for it by being one of the, one of the big three clubs in Spanish football, by, win, by winning lots of trophies. And they, they can't do that because they, they've got a huge budget. The ba um, Athletic Bilbao does not have a big budget. It, it can't give fans that. Instead, it focuses on identity. And uh, so what? Oh, in effect, move, move, moving on to the to the next point, that that, that policy is justified because all, all countries li, li, limit the number of of foreign players who, who can play in their clubs. Uh, La Liga do, does it too, and the and the the fact that the Basques haven't gotten their independence doesn't mean they're not a the country. They're still they're still effectively a country. So it, it makes sense for them to pursue that policy just, just, just like Spain or any, any other national federation does. What, why, why do countries pursue that policy? Because it gives, it gives na native-born players a, a better chance to succeed. Also because, fa because fans identify with those clubs much more. What, why is that? Because small, relatively small local clubs like Athletic Bilbao, they, they, they can't offer great, great football like Barcelona or Real Madrid. They, they don't have the same budget. They can't, they can't attract the same players. What is unique about them is that, that they create around them a sense of community, that, that they represent the fans more. The, the fans know the players. They, they, they feel a shared experience with them. They, 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 they speak the same language. They feel that the players actually care about the club, that they're not they're not just mercenaries who, who came here for the money and, and would move on. The, the, play, the players hate the same, the same clubs the, the fans hate. They, they have, the, they, they ha they, they have the, the same prejudices. They, they're ju just as the, uh, the title droughts mean the same to them as, it, as they do to the fans. And, and of course, <coughs> Of, of course, what, one last point. Mo moving on to the to the effect on other on other p players, on the players who na now can't can't go into and can't can't sign up with Athletic Bilbao. Well, there are lots of clubs out there. It it doesn't really hurt them. 
So and be, because it's so crucial in preserving in preserving the identity of the Basque people, and we think we think that this is thoroughly justified. That this is a good policy. This is what the fans really care about. Thank you. It seems like oppositions agree with us, and a really important thing for the Basque minority group is to have a, group, a football player group which they're going to be proud of, and they'll have an ability to um, get pride from their team. We think that you just get this that much more than when the team is successful as opposed to when the team loses. We're going to explain why this is just so much true, why you still get pride from the team even if it doesn't have players that are exactly like you, and just why this completely wins over anything opposition is going to say. Um, Let's do a bit of extenuous rebuttal first to opening opposition, and then we'll continue with that one. So, about the fact that there's um, just that they, um, they, they talk about the fact that there's just less of um, less. So let, no, sorry. Okay. So the fact that you lose your identity because um, like you, you were talking about, group that's going to be losing their identity um, because uh, as an oppressed nation. So we think that like as each I said, Barcelona is literally a Catalonian group, which is very similar in the sense that they're also a, group, uh, a minority that's like pretty much oppressed in Spain um, and that want their own uh, their own nation and stuff like that. But because Barcelona is so successful, because they can bring in players from other places and they can have the pick of the best of the best and they're not only taking from a very small group, which obviously isn't going to have the best players, that means that they can have people singing their anthem, like everyone sing, like the, 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 everyone hearing the Catalonian anthem. They can have more coverage and they can have so much more pride from the team that is actually successful. Um, and also it's just proof that like, you know, these teams can get big enough to survive because what matters in football is the amount of success. Right? Is if your team is better and if you have better players, you'll be able to grow and get better and better players until you are at the level when you can compete at a national level and be like Barcelona and beat everyone. Cool. Okay. Also, we just think that like football isn't the only thing that you have as your identity. You can have other sports, you can have other food, you have cultural events, clothing, stories, names, stuff like that. We don't understand why this doesn't exist on both sides of the house. We don't understand why we specifically need football. Okay, cool. Um, Football is just another thing that adds to identity and we're saying that we don't think. Secondly, um, about the fact that um, a sporting triumph is no longer a triumph of the Basque of Spain. This may make sense, but if the Basque teams never beat a Spanish team because all the Spanish teams have much better players, you're constantly going to have Spanish teams defeating again the poor Basque minority and you get exactly the opposite effect of instead of you know these people feeling power empowered because they beat their oppressor in a sport they're going to be beat yet again by their oppressor in a sport so we think that again this is really really connected to success the more success you have the more you and the Basque team itself even if it isn't made up of Basque people are still representing the Basque people and they're still beating the Spanish team so we think that again the, 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 how good the team does is the thing that is the main criteria here um, secondly, about the fact that um, about what CEOs uh, uh, start with POI, about the fact that more past players um, in the international league is important. Um, so, sorry, about the fact that you get like more people. We just think that like the more Basque players in the international league is also something that we see as important, right? We think that today we agree with them that maybe they have a sense of responsibility and the good players want to stay and do stuff like that. And tomorrow they can go and like join much bigger teams and are much more freer to do this um, in a better way, which means that like, you know, you not only see your Basque player in a small team and a small league that never wins anything, but you see them in a big team managing to do much better things, managing to beat much better teams and managing to have much more opportunities to shine and to be successful and to give you a sense of pride in the player and in the individual player itself because you also like okay he's like me and you get that in other places so we think that um, it's more likely for the good players players on our side also to stay in our teams when their team is better right if I'm a really good bass player today the moment I get, get anywhere good enough I want to go to the other team because my team just isn't good because I'm surrounded by people who are bad players tomorrow if there are other teams if there are other good players with me I'm more likely to want to stay and support my team, whole team because it doesn't mean that I have to give up opportunities for myself and you know people don't like doing that um, cool. Um, 
what else can we say about just the fact that we're always divided? We think that they, they'd say that they're just like, this team is never going to do it well, so there's just something that's not going to care about. We think that just like clubs that are run better and that have better teams, their better players are just going to do better. Um, they have like more followers, it's easier for them to spend movement, we're going to better. Cool. Let's talk about why we think pride is something that's more important. So just like, let's make something really clear, right? Um, a team is more than just the sum of its players, and the team is more than the build players. It's true because A, the players always switch out. Yes, I hear you. Thank you. You don't, I see you. You can sit down now. I'll get you soon. Um, the players always switch out anyway. Um, they, they, so you, you never like to be talking about specific players. The things that stay over time are the team colors, the team name, the fact that it's from my area, the fact that like, you know, these are, I'm paying tickets to the stadium and my money is going into investing this kind of stuff. Um, it's because like, the mascot is something that's connected to me. The name of the team is something that's connected to me. So we think that like, this is just something that makes the team something that stays connected to me in the same way that Mancunians can still get pride from the Manchester team, even though though um, they, there can be no Mancunians on the Manchester team. It's still the team that represents Manchester in the same way this is the team that represents the Basque people, even if there's not a single Basque person inside. I don't understand why I need to feel connected to the players themselves when I can feel connected to the thing that they are representing into the team as a whole, which again is switched out by players all the time. So the team itself is a thing that people support and keep supporting. Um, we think that you just, this is something, again, we just want to collect why right? this is the most important thing when it comes to pride, right? Because without success, the club is just much less accessible. They're going to do much less games. They're going to have smaller crowds. They're not going to be on public TV. Nobody's going to see these games except for like the Basque followers. Tomorrow, you get less, and you also get less funding. When you're more successful, because you have, to, uh, you, you have a much bigger pool of talent you get from, then you're much more likely to succeed. And this is, and you're much more likely to get pride from this because you see your team in a much better way. Focus on football. We believe that by focusing on basket nationalism, on football, instead of focusing on military nationalism like we had in the past, it was the EPA organization to make Terry Cassidy Spain as basket for free. But that's a better way for nationalism for the basket. Again, the moment that my team is representing the Basque people, I can still put my nationalistic, um, my, my attempts to fight against other people on this team. It doesn't matter. Yes, okay, no, you don't get to say that. You <laughs> get people. Um, it's not, it doesn't have to be like, you know, my foot soldiers. It has to be the people, the team that itself is representing me, and the team itself is what I can put my pride in when I'm showing you something else. So we think you also get that more on our side as well, except for the fact that, like, you know, uh, if you feel really oppressed, then you're going to be militaristic and the fact that there's a football game isn't really going to make much of a difference in your life because you want to change the situation and you're in not just because you really hate the other side. So we just don't think that that's actually something that's doing So we just think that uh, that is one of the reasons why the success. We think that the pride, you don't get any pride from your team losing, but you get pride from your team winning. And again, because this team still represents you and still represents your people and represents your colors and what you stand for, for all these reasons, this is something that is still important. This is the most important thing in this debate because this is the thing that like, changes the most on our side of the debate, right? We're talking about football and we're talking about football in a specific group, which means that the thing that is, that is actually changing here is how much pride do these people get from the group. For all these reasons, please propose. Okay, so my, my, my main point would, would be quite simply that, that, that there, there isn't much of a delta and as far as sporting success is concerned, and therefore that the fans don't really care about it. That would be in, <clears throat> that would be in direct clash with the OG's claim. But for, first, a, a, bit, a bit of rebuttal. No, note that the, that the deputy prime minister claim, claimed on one hand that the black that Basque, that Basque players now feel, feel feel that they've got to stay in their club because, in Athletic Bilbao because it it represents their community and so they so so they don't so they don't leave to to better teams. But on the other hand, she also claimed that that Basque players always want to leave because because they don't want to pay, to play for a bad club. So I. <clears throat> 
I, I think that, that to the extent both statements are true, they, they effectively cancel each other out, which, which, is, which, is, why, which is why players who re really want to have a, a big successful career at a great club leave, but, but enough, enough good players stay in, in, in order to keep Athletic a bit, bit about competitive. <clears throat> which, which, is, which is why, again, that there's no chance of it. it's being relegated in the near future or collapsing. So that, now to my main point, what, what, why, do, why do we have a bit, very, very small delta here? Note that, as I, meant, as I mentioned in my, <clears throat> my first speech, though, Athletic Bilbao is a relatively small club. It, it doesn't have a big budget. It, it, can't, it can't get the, the best players. And that, that's not going to change in the near future. Why, why is it not going to change? Because un, unlike Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, and a few others, it, does, it, it, it does, doesn't have a rich owner who, who wants to, to invest lots of money in it, and it's, not, and it's probably not, not going to, to get a, bit, a very rich owner because, in the near future because it, has, it really has nothing that distinguishes it from so so many other um, mid-level Sp Spanish teams. There's nothing specific in it that, that would attract a big, a, a big investor. So, and what, and what, why are they not go, go, going, to get, going to get more mo money by slowly clawing their way out, out, of, the, out of the bottom of the way? <clears throat> the, the way the, the government described it, again, because they, they, don't, they don't have the money to make the leap, and they, their budget is so far away from, it, it's so much smaller from the big clubs that they can, that they're always, that at most, that the most they'll be able to do would be to become a somewhat better mid-level club. But again, it's not, that, that, that's, that's not enough to, to attract them, to, to attract higher, to significantly higher to, TV ratings or in, enough ratings to actually make a, a difference. Before I continue, closing government. Yes, we are not debating from the, from the good of the bad case. We believe it, it's helpful for all the communities, and we are asking here is in what world we will get a better integration with the minorities. Okay, well, I, I, my, my whole speech was about that, about what about what what's best for the for the Basque country, for the Basque and their identity as Basques. So <clears throat> I, how, how, how they, they would identify much, much more with a, with, a ho with a holy Basque team. And, <clears throat> and so now, now back, back to my point, the, because, because those, those Basque, but because Athletic Bilbao is, is ne never, never has the potential to, beco to become a huge club, it's, <clears throat> It would the 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 most that that can happen if they buy slightly better players are a few are a few more wins. What what why doesn't it matter? Because because mo most fans do, don't care passionately about it every game. They they know it's a long season. They they they're, they know they're they're going to win to win some games. They know that they lo they lose lots of games. They know they know that they, that they'll end up in, in a place and. In, in, a, in a place where it doesn't really matter either way, whether you finish seventh or eighth, you're, you're still going to play in La Liga next season. You're still, you're, you're still not, not going to, to go to any big international tur tournament. There isn't, the, it, it, it do, do, doesn't, doesn't really matter to them. Okay, again, the, the games they really care about are matches where, <clears throat> which, can, which can decide championships, which can decide which team is relegated, and they're not, and they're, they're not they're not going, going to play in in any of those matches again because they're they're a mid level club and they're probably going to to stay there. Before I continue, PAYO can go. Yeah, Sevilla and Leicester were also small clubs and with good management they reached European competitions. Moreover, due to competitive pressure, it's not going to be enough to stand still. You have to optimize for the be demoted like Portsmouth and like other small teams that end up going down. Well, yeah, yes, there are teams that. <clears throat> that manage themselves badly and they end up going down. Athletic Bilbao happens, happens to do a great job at, at, at managing itself. It has a great youth academy. It has, which is why it, which is why it, 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 it always produces top, 
level best players who who can play for the club. So no, it's, it's so big. It hasn't it hasn't gone down in a long time. There's no indication that it's likely to go that it, that it's likely to to go down in the in the near future. And yeah, the, there are clubs that suddenly get get big big investors and ma and manage to do to do very well. Now, at, at, as I explained, it's unlikely to happen with a, with Athletic Bilbao because again, they they have they have no distinguishing feature as far as an out, outside investor. Is, is is interested in they have they, they have nothing to to attract them they they're not likely to to have a big a big home crowd so so no I, I I don't think they have the potential to be what one of those really rare teams who manage to claw themselves up from the from a, from the from some mediocre level and actually make make it to the top to the top thank you. is about what matters to the world. As much as the Basque people and the nationality is important in this debate, we don't speak it from a, from a perspective of the Basque people, the Basque team, or the Basque government. We want how much we can improve the world by better. We think that by abandoning, abandoning this policy, we just can let people from, that live in the Basque area but are not born there, like immigrants or refugees, have a better chance to integrate in the, in the part of Europe, become better person society, have a better chance in their life, and just improve their life. By improving that, we kind of we're taking over first stuff and just pick up how, how the Basque nationality going to do anything to people. We think as much as important is not important as what we're going to speak. Okay, two points is my debate. Um, first, that abolishing the policy will open spots in the club for immigrants and give them better chances in life and increasing their chances in, in Europe. Second, how we are going to get a better integration in the Basque area for those people. We thought that one major point of external rebuttal for all, because what they kind of speaks that it's going to hurt the, national, the Basque nationality Etc. Et et we think that um, opening that forgetting this uh, this policy does not going to really change the game in the big one. I mean, we are speaking about according to OO, okay, a not very big uh, club with most of the local players. We think that just opening this slot will just again think they're going to get more local players, just not born on the not pure blood um, Basque or something like that. Okay, we think that by that we are not really going to change, see a really, really big trend of how the team is going to change. It's not that by tomorrow of okay, accepting this policy going to make the team number one team, or by do not accepting the will we'll make him the number one team. There's so still a mediocre team in a mediocre field. We think it's not going to really change what everybody thinks of the team because they're not really big heart of the nationality. The team is still going to win the same number of games. That going to win today or lose the same number of them, so it does not really important in this kind, and it's kind of less uh, impact or even semantical in this case. Okay, let's go to my point. Okay, so as we all know, Europe right now is getting, um, in, is get, get, uh, there are a, a huge number of immigrants in Europe area, the most happy to live in, in the most, in, plus there were, in places there are less, uh, have bigger chances to, uh, to, uh, to, to pay the cost of their life. I mean, the, as much as we can see them living in Berlin or in, the, or in Madrid or in the United States cities, they are also uh, are, uh, integrated in people in the uh, area like, uh, like the Basque area, where it's kind of less expensive to live by, by life, okay? Now, the team we're not going to change the metrics of how they're going to, 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 to accept the players, except by, the, 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 except by just now that accepting players that were not born in the, in the, in the area, I mean, which means that we're still going to sit there with the same level. I mean, if you want to try to the team, you are kind of going to be in the same level of other teammates because no one's going to say, ah, you are worse than everybody else, but you are not born there, so, but you are not born it, so we're going to accept it. We're not talking about something like a, a, like a improving action that's going to change how our team is going to change by by choosing players in this field, okay? But because we're talking about a small cup, there is a, that, that it's not best of the team right now, we think that the better chances of accepting people from around you, from the local area. We mean to we're not going to see people, no one accepting now from the top players from Madrid to join here, or the top players from overseas to join here. We're more likely to see people who came in from around the area, from the Basque area, which means we're still going to see a lot, a huge number of Basque people, Basque people but not Basque people who born, who been born then, okay? Now, oh, wait a minute, okay? Um, okay, what is, uh, da, da, da. 
Okay, we think that what we're going is kind of try, try to get a new starting right from people who are now living the Basque but have no chance to, in, to enter to the football society of, the, of, the, of Europe. Okay, we think that by doing that we're going to be, give them better chances to start. How? More that they are now can become part of societies that we're, uh, we're going to take to better and by letting them be part of something bigger than them, of being part of the Basque nationality, they're also giving some kind of an edge for the younger generation after them. Okay, by accepting a by accepting a number of immigrant players in this ground, we're making the new immigrant players have more likely, more incentive to be part of them because they have now some kind of a folklore from their own nation or from their own people, okay? Which means they are more likely to stop playing on the streets and more be, become a, a, find some kind of a, uh, of a functioning metrics to, to learn and improve the basketball. That means people are now have less, uh, more important, to, uh, more chances and to be integrated into something bigger than them, into something important like football clubs for the younger league or football clubs for something around them just because they see someone older than them that now joins the big teams that, that are become important to them because it's some kind of a nationality from them now they uh, see what other people around them want them and see what other people around them uh, uh, withdraw okay so we're going to give a new generation that are more likely right now to be a weak generation in a in a small country, a big chance is to be stronger in this, in this country and become part of the other country. And I think it's much bigger impact from everything about, um, about nationality in, in, in the basic, because we just gave a people who are, need the most help in, in, all, in, the weakest, in some kind of the weakest state in order to really improve their life and change, and change how they're going. Before I go, yes, opening. Thanks. Note, note that, in, that immigrant kids already pay in the youth academies, and as, as for grown-ups, they can pay in hundreds of other professional clubs. Yeah, but if they... We, but the problem is that the grown-ups cannot pay in, in, in the national class because they have no ch and have, they don't have the skills in order to accept these clubs, okay? We do not think that someone who just immigrated from, I don't know, from Syria or something like that, have a huge st uh, chance of skill to enter, uh, have enough skill to enter the B uh, Madrid team or something like that, okay? We think that they're more likely to be in the same for local area. And again, I explain to you that the younger generation needs some kind of a role model that will push them to do that. If you're some kind of a, of a second generation immigrant in, in, uh, in, in the club, in the, in the Basque area, okay, and you don't have anyone who are, you are wishing to be in this field, you will not play in the, in the small leagues. We are, you have less intention to do it. Now let's go to my second point about how it's going to improve the integration over the Basque area. Okay, we think that as much as we have more players in the in the Basque in the Basque major team that are um, um, come from different nationalities, we have a better chance for this nationality to be integrated in this because they become focused for other people right now. They change it, they change how other people function, they change how people see them. Okay, which means that in these areas that are now start, start to be filled with immigrants as more as we speak, we have better chances for them to be, to, to do not anymore seen as some kind of a reach of a, of a nation or more something that are part of us. They play with the same game with us, they play with the same team as uh, their lose is our lose, our win, their win is our win, and by that we're going to give them a better, um, Im a better image, in some, not only for themselves but for all the other people around them that now do not see them anymore as some kind of a weak, some, of a weak or for weakening that I need to suffer because my government accepted you to my country, but for something that I more have chances to accept, to, to, but something that's more equal to me and feel the same thing that I feel. We think it's really important in this debate. We think that by giving them a better chances in life, for uh, we, we take it, we, we, we take it, we, we think that by giving a better chance, for, we get a better chances for the, we, we take over a fair class and speak about nationality and so things. We think that it's the most important thing to debate. Again, we think that as much as, we, as, much as bad nationality is something that might be important, it's not the most important thing in the world, and we ask you to accept.
three, two, one. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna have two main points in my speech. The first one I'm gonna be is that uh, Bilbao is a different team, and uh, the second one I'm gonna be that uh, this is an alternative for a national team that would create a ground for, nation for nationalism in the Basque area and for the Basque people. Um, two uh, rebuttals for uh, Lior and one rebuttal, uh, sorry, two rebuttals for Lior and one rebuttal for French government because I think nobody touched it. So the first thing is the French government doing a uh, conversation to Barcelona. Uh, first of all, yeah, Barcelona is like uh, a Catalonian national team as well, even that the Catalonian have a national team. Though the difference between Barcelona and Bilbao is that Barcelona is a team that holds by all Catalonian people as shareholders, and Bilbao is a team that holds by one owner, and they have the uh, uh, policy that holds just uh, players from uh, the Basque area. That's two different ways to hold people together and gather people together as the nationalism. Uh, though in different ways as well, as we know that the Catalonian team isn't something that works eventually because they don't let people go and play in the Catalonian team uh, as it's not a national team that knows by, uh, that our that team are knowing about her or consider it as a national team, so that's why it isn't working and they need to find an alternative way of creating a national team. Okay, so. Um, um, Leo said, first of all, that it will assist players from poor countries or people from uh, immigrants uh, to play in Spain. And I don't know why that they need to go to Bilbao specifically, when they can go to play in Barcelona, like we get from first government, or they can go and play in Real Madrid, like we get from first government, and they can go to play in Israel, and they can go play in everywhere they want to. Why specifically Bilbao? You don't give an explanation for that. Second is that it's going to be a better image for the country uh, to or the team when people arrive from poor country and playing there and I don't understand why it's going to make such a difference for the player if they bring someone from Ghana, they bring someone from uh, uh, Syria or they bring someone from the United States to play in their team. Why someone care? I never heard that Real Madrid won the Champions League and said, good for them, they have a player from Ghana. I never heard someone saying it, so I don't think someone care about it. So that is irrelevant and that's why all, all of your speech is just irrelevant for this debate. Okay, so I'm going to start, uh, I guess, as, let's think the first government is talking about how football team unites people together and I want to say thank you. That's exactly what we say, football team united people in a specific place and that's exactly what the Basque people need. They need to be a nation. And that's how they get it. Okay, so Bilbao is a national team on the cover of a regular team. We can get players from all four teams, first of all. We don't have just one option. We have four teams in uh, uh, the Basque area. We have uh, Bilbao, we have uh, Sociedad, we have uh, Osasuna, and we have another team, which is the fourth league. So we have lots of players to go. We have as well the basketball team of Basconia, which is doing the same thing, and they play great. Second, I heard a lot of things here that says that Bilbao isn't a great team. No, Bilbao is a great team. Bilbao is only one of three that never went down to the second league. They played in La Liga since the La Liga made 118 years ago. They stayed in La Liga. That's a great, great thing for Bilbao. That's a great thing for the Basquean to be proud of. We played in the first league. And if you're talking about the Basquean area, we know that in 1989, uh, I think, in the start of the 90s, we had the situation when Real Sociedad, that did the same policy as Bilbao, decided to stop doing it and bring players from outside. What happened? They had much less support, they have much less money, and eventually they lost and went to the second league. So we know when you break this policy, you don't get the support, you don't get your fans, and it's hurting your team eventually. It's not just hurting your people. And why is that important? Bilbao don't play like a regular team. They spend money, they don't look for income, they look for pride. They spend money as a national team, they spend money as a country that says we're doing something for the people, we don't do something for ourselves. Bilbao isn't looking for money. Barcelona isn't a profit team as well. Real Madrid isn't a profit team as well. So Bilbao isn't a profit team. But eventually they get pride for their area, they get pride for their people. That's the most important thing. What is more important than giving pride to your people? Okay, so by looking at the history of Atletico Bilbao, like I said, and despite what OO said, we know it's one of the most successful countries in the club. In 2015, they won the Super Cup. 
and against Barcelona, 5-1. That's a big thing. In 2021, they won the Super Cup against Barcelona. That's a great thing. Basquian people won twice against the Catalonia. Yeah, great for the Basquian. Yeah, they're better. Um, okay, so yeah, that's why we know it's not a regular team. That's a great team that gives a lot of things to the Basquian people. Before we continue to my second thing, uh, POI from uh, opening. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is an Let freshes with clubs bringing in good foreign players and foreign clubs buying your best players, the changing market makes it necessary to adapt. When you lose Ander Herrera and all of your good players, you're not going to carry on with okay. When we lose Ander Herrera, we can bring people from our, from our team, from our younger player and building players for ourselves that eventually would bring us pride and we can stay in league. Eventually, we lose Ander Herrera, but we stay in the league, we still go into the Champions League, we still won the Super Cup twice. We don't care, we can bring other players. That's how it works. People change. That's how it works. That's the world works. So basically, alternative for a national team. That's what creates ground for nationalism in the Basque area and for the Basque people. Please notice, we believe that that's an alternative for a different way of nationalism. Like I said to first government, we got a, the inter group that made a was a militant group inside the Basque area since Franco fallen in Spain and decided they want democracy in the Basque area. They want a country for the Basque people. While that's not happening, they decided to use militant way. They did bombs, they did attacking. It's not past history. It was in 2002, 2004. We had lots of issue with the Basque terror attacks. The EU said this is a terror group. Spain, France, everybody said this is a terror group. And why we don't want it? Because eventually when we can change it to a way that the nationalism ground gonna be for in, 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 so, in football instead of terror, people are gonna get around to the national team and not going to do it by terror in a militant way. They have the way to get by, to get closer and gathering around the team and not a terror. That's a better way for nationalism. That's a better way for us to continue and get our pride together. So please, from all those reasons, we're happy to oppose the motion. Thank you very much. Start in three, two, one, and okay. So OG is mainly focused on the success of the Basque team and its growth. We agree this debate is very important, but we're not debating from the point of the team. We gave here a full analyze of how, of how it will help you uh, for the whole community, focusing on the minorities and the, and the integration uh, with, uh, with other countries. So first, uh, we had two main questions in this debate. The first one is how it's influenced on the whole community, and the second one is what is best for the Basque team. Uh, before this, I will do uh, one, re one rebuilding and uh, two and one rebuttal. So uh, let's start with the rebuilding. Okay, so here, here. Uh, Israel and, Rad and Real Madrid are opening the doors for new people. They are opening from other communities. And we agree we, agree we want to, uh, that we want that every group uh, will be open for other communities, for everyone. We don't want uh, that one group will influence on her community, on the Basque community, and will not uh, allow any other um, minorities and new, uh, uh, new Magrim to come to their groups. Um, this is a mid-core mid -core team in a mid-core area. If someone here is suitable for the big team, they have they had been moved them years ago. We speak about all the medium uh, league player who will never be uh, qualified for the big boys league. Um, so let's move on to the rebuttal. So um, Iran is talking about pride, uh, pride for your people. 
The pride uh, that you create is for giving them an example, for giving them a, a, a way of life, a new way of life, and opening the doors for everyone, and, uh, and uh, create an integration with other countries. This is how you create a, a really big pride. And uh, you will not get any pride if your group is not successful, and you, as the, as the leader of the group, are not doing anything in order to change it and in order to create a better group. But here, you can get the pride from being a better person. You're making some other people to look at you and, uh, and, and take some uh, ashra from you, uh, POI later. So uh, let's move on to the clash. So wait, but the pride that Iran is talking about is not important here because we are talking about how people will create, uh, will, uh, will uh, react after this change and after, uh, and after uh, they will uh, allow other people to get into this group. So let's move on to the first class. The first place is how it's influenced on the whole community. So OG are trying to explain about the local influence uh, of this motion and focusing on the, uni uh, the unity of the, of the bus community and cheering together for the group, for the successful groups. How O explains some points about uh, the bus community and the importance of, uh, of nationality. We agree that the nationality is important, but, uh, but actually here, in this case, we are still wondering whether the nationality will get better um, if the group will get better or not. So if taking the best side of oppositions in the debate and the best case of first government in this debate, we cannot really understand if the best community will actually get, uh, get, get better. We cannot decide who knows the future uh, better now. But what Lior does here? Lior extension is getting here and, uh, and solve us the problem. We are not concerning only about the successful and not only for the, for the bus community. We are talking about much bigger scale. We are talking about, uh, about, about the principle of opening the doors for everyone, about integration with other communities, about, about uh, taking care about taking care for other people and let them get into your place and do it together. Uh, we believe that uh, that in this world we um, we are very we are very uh, we are very supporting in a um, in community integration and and ex and especially when we are going to football teams we are we want uh, as as a principle to um, uh, to react and make actions in order to integrate some minorities and uh, and Maghrib in our companies and in our communities and and especially there in the bus community we are the in the uh, in the bus community football team and this is uh, their tradition before this is the place that will help us to influence on other people on the on the small kids that are taking uh, that are uh, that are looking on their big brother uh, opening doors and making uh, and making friends with other people and let them into their group. So uh, before I move on to my second question, yes. Thanks. Your, your assumption that the law for higher immigrants is completely unfounded. I explained what would probably hire Spanish born players instead. Okay, so uh, Lior analyzed before why it's important to uh, to allow to this immigrate and to the and to the minorities to uh, to get in these football teams we are not saying that uh, that they don't have any other groups they can join to but we're saying that we want to open all the doors we want to we want to uh, to act as a as a company that's working uh, to get everyone united and, and help them uh, and help them to uh, to integrate with other countries Okay, so let's move on to the second place. The second place is what is best for the bus team. How do you explain us uh, about the potential of uh, success when opening doors for new people and how it can help to bring some new, uh, better leaders for the groups and, and better players for the team? So OO gives us some points about the past of the groups and, and what will actually be possible to change. Even here, if we're taking the best sides of every group, we will get... Uh, um, we will get the best team. Uh, okay, 
So even here, if you're taking the best cases of each one of the groups, uh, Lior extension is getting in and give and explain us about uh, about the Basque team um, Ada from <laughs> Ada Matsubo. How uh, how we create a backlash of uh, of everyone supporting your team because you're accepting new people and because you're allowing new people uh, to join to your team and not just uh, your country. So this is why we're winning also this clash. So our extension above uh, above OG is because they are mainly focused on the successful of the Basque team and if, and the uh, and how it will grow and. But we are focusing on what we want the community to be, how we want the people uh, will uh, will act, and what we believe that the main uh, the, the main important uh, the, the most important thing in this debate is how it influences all the community and all our company. So thank you very much. We are very uh, glad to uh, to. I'll start my speech in three, two. Okay. In this debate, we had two main points that, uh, two main clashes that we got, which is the first one where it will be best for uh, the team in pride wise and accomplishment, and where it will be uh, better for our general society. Before that, just a few clashes for um, what we heard from closing government. Okay, so first thing that we heard. So Closing government told us that this thing will create a better pride and this pride will only be successful and will happen only if this team will have success and accomplish. So we do understand that government side on uh, both houses is that you only get success if you are successing. But what we are saying that pride is not measured by success. When you're talking about football team or sports in general, what happens is that you are supporting your team. You're not supporting um, your accomplishment because your team is your family. We got from, uh, I think, uh, sorry, uh, first government that you can change your team and you will switch your directions and your support. What we are saying is that you're not changing your family. When you're supporting a group, you are supporting them and this is what we will see and this is why we believe that. I will talk further how we see uh, the support in specific um, uh, players. Another thing that we got from closing government is that uh, when uh, we have uh, people, immigrants that are getting from uh, poor countries, uh, they don't have the ability or uh, skills to get into those uh, big teams or even those uh, bulk teams. What we are saying is that this is not correct. Football and specifically is a poor people game. We see that from players who are coming from Brazil or coming from South Africa. This is a poor people game. We can see them who uh, succeeding. Further. But what we are going to talk about is what happened in this debate from our perspective. So the first thing that Iran managed to show you is who is this team? Well, we have in the, un the false uh, understanding in the beginning of this uh, debate that this team doesn't have really have success, and doesn't really have the ability to go uh, farther and to play with their own sources, with their own players from their own uh, houses. Uh, what Iran managed to show you is that this uh, group actually have the ability to get good players, to get to success, to actually be uh, helpful management, even though they don't really have the uh, big amount of money that we heard in this debate, uh, as uh, other groups such as um, uh, Barcelona and Real Madrid. Uh, but, and the second thing that we got here is Iran really explains to you why this is very important for uh, the bulk uh, area. Because 
he managed to show you that this is the only peaceful alternative to get to those people to actually gain much more uh, pride in their own area, not only in their uh, specific uh, team or players. And why, when we saw over the years that, um, uh, uh, that uh, when uh, it wasn't a peaceful uh, action that were taken, this is the only way to actually raise the nationalism that they have uh, without actually hurting uh, their uh, country and you gaining are. more, and gaining more um, support from uh, other uh, countries uh, outside. Um, yeah. Closing. You see, it's not question of going to succeed or not succeed. You're accepting, if you're family, you're a manager if you're going to win or if you're going to lose. As much as more players are out there, as much more connected to them, we are connected also to other people. Okay, uh, but what we are saying is that while you can connect to other people, while you can connect to other um, uh, players or group, there is something that is more um, inherited that you have. You don't really switch the, uh, the group that you're supporting. Even if your group sucks for the last three decades, you will still uh, vote for the uh, You will still cheer for them. You will still go to the, their games. You will still have the faith that every single time that they touch the ball, they will have a goal or a basket or whatever because you have this belief in them. Okay, so what we have in the main uh, issues in this debate and why uh, we believe that or I managed to show you this in a really good uh, way. No. Okay, so where it will be better for the group uh, in the meaning of uh, pride, accomplishment, as well for the country, uh, for the uh, region. Um, Iran managed to show you that the importance of how this pride will actually be and how it will uh, create a better way. So we got from an uh, opening government that the group will only be successful if you, uh, uh, that the group will, will only, uh, that the group will be successful if you will have pride, and you will have pride if only that will be successful. We already talked about it, and we said, um, uh, uh, okay, what we already said that you have a, 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 that you are having pride in the group. What we get, did get from uh, opening uh, government is that you have uh, this um, pride in the in the symbols in the in the uh, territory itself, in the, in the symbols, in the colors of, the, of their flag or their uniforms. What I meant to to talk to, talk to you that. This group is not only their colors. This group is, are actually the people that you have, are actually the people who have this accomplishment, uh, uh, those accomplishments, and the actor, the actors, the players represent those uh, uh, things exactly. We can see that in other groups that have par uh, really uh, good players that uh, left them over the years and got back, and we see this, um, the importance of a player and the, um, what it represents also, um, uh, as well, we can see that when we have uh, players who, uh, I'm sorry, an entire team that actually supportive player that did something that considered to be not moral, not uh, or not good, in in a sense, and we see the entire people of, of the fans group are that are just uh, supporting them. What we did uh, got from uh, closing government in this uh, in sense is that uh, they are saying that this is not the most important thing for the region because they are talking about immigrants. We never really got the understanding of why specifically those uh, immigrants are supposed to get to this specific team to build out or why this is, will be the best thing for them when they have so many other places that they can actually get better um, um, integrated into society and we don't really uh, see how this is being uh, uh, being brought here uh, as well. Um, in regard to the second, uh, where it will be uh, better uh, uh, in the world, we, Iran already explained how, what will happen if a group is uh, breaking this uh, signing policy, meaning that the benefits that uh, immigrants can have in the uh, closing government uh, uh, world will not actually happen here because we see that, uh, as Iran explained, uh, group, uh, groups that, all, that have the signing policy and uh, decided to get out of it actually had a lot of damage to the group and uh, lost a lot of uh, financial and success in this sense. Uh, so uh, we, we explained to you why we do believe that that in our in, uh, our speech, we managed to show you why it is better to the specific team to um, to uh, not support this motion, not cancel this signing uh, policy. So thanks again, Tom, for listening to the debate. Go outside. Okay, bye. So thanks again for the debate. We enjoyed it very much. 
Um, we, I will give you the call and then I will explain the rationale. And if you want to have more personal feedback, you can come to me later. I will be here and we can talk. Um, we ended up giving the first place to the opening government, the second place to the opening opposition, the third place to um, the closing opposition, and the fourth place, unfortunately, to the closing government. Let's just go in order and explain why this is the call that we came to. We think that in, all, in the first house, there are essentially two main clashes. One is about where you're going to get a stronger sense of national pride, and the other one is where the team is likely to be more successful, right? We think that OG basically says that you're going to be able to get more pride when the team is more successful, but gives us many ideas for why it is likely that the pride that they get is not dependent on um, the players themselves. Right? They get the idea that the pride that they get from the team is connected to the identity of the team, the songs, the flags, the carols, the shared history that we have, and communal activities and so on and so forth. And that specifically, the players are not something that I care about very much in the sense that uh, they are people that I very rarely get to have any interaction with, that I am very likely to see them as just a methods of acquiring more success, that I know that they are not there because they feel that they emphasize with the community, but rather because they want money and that if they get paid a large sum of money, they're likely to go to another place rather than uh, uh, this team. And therefore, probably the connection that they have for the players specifically is very limited. This means that I can still get the national pride um, this means that I can still get national pride even if the players are changing and even don't come from the same group, right? Um, we think that OO does push on this point but doesn't actually directly compare to the analysis coming out of OG. We do get the idea that when we have uh, Spanish players in these teams, that this is going to be a Spanish team and it's no longer going to be able to represent the Basque people and their national um, style. But we don't uh, get direct comparison to the uh, analysis that we got coming out of OG, which explained to us why specifically the players are so important and why I feel so connected to the players. We also think that uh, uh, OG give an answer to the idea that we want to have uh, uh, the team represent the Basque struggle and the Basque nationality. Uh, we get the idea from OG that says, well, if the uh, team is not a very successful team, then anyways, you're not going to be able to get an of national pride because you don't have this idea of now the Basques are defeating the Spanish because the Basques are not actually winning. We think that since the characterization we get coming out of the second speaker in opening opposition actually explained to us that it's very likely this team is not a very successful team and is probably in the mid-levels of not often beating very, very other successful teams. We don't know why being able to beat the Spanish teams and then saying this is a huge source for national pride is a very likely outcome, which happens very often. So we think that we do get, overall, we do buy OG more on this idea that we're going to get national pride from the team, even without having the players themselves coming out of the Basque nationality. We think that the second thing is that uh, um, OG gave us explanation as to why your team needs to um, your team needs to succeed and is going to have a very hard time in succeeding if we don't change. Uh, um, the ideas that we have today because there is a very competitive marketplace, because the marketplace is becoming more and more globalized, other teams are buying foreign players, have very good scouting abilities, and you're likely to be left behind if you don't um, compete with them on the same level. We think that we do get mitigation from this coming out of OO to the extent that we are unlikely to get to become one of the best teams and one of the most successful teams because they have a much larger budget, budget than us and much more abilities than us. We think that this does mitigate uh, the point coming out of OG uh, to a significant extent, but we still buy that we are likely to be a better team and improve, and this is going to be meaningful and give more pride to the people who are fans of the team. And we also think that OG's analysis explained to us that if we don't do anything, it's not like we're going to stay in the same place. We're actually likely to become worse because the other teams are engaging in practices that will leave us out of the market if we don't engage in those same practices. So we think that overall, while OO does mitigate the point coming out of OG, we do buy that the team is going to be better on OG's side and likely to provide more national pride to the people who are fans of the team. So this is the comparison between OG and OO and why we decided to put OG above OO. Let's bring in CG, right? We think that CG 
CJ's main idea is the fact that once we open up the team and we're able to bring in other people from other groups, um, we are likely to encourage integration between the Basque people and other minorities who might be there, specifically many migrants who are coming into Europe in recent years and are not fully integrated into European identity. We think that, um, okay, we, okay, the way we get out of CG says that integration is more important than uh, the identity of specific groups and therefore this is going to be the most relevant thing in this debate. And we think that while this um, weighing might be legitimate weighing, we don't get enough of an explanation about how the integration itself actually happens and why this is the most likely outcome. And therefore, this would not be enough to place them about, above the opening uh, uh, teams. We think that in two POIs coming out of opening opposition, there is clear attack on the idea that this is going to work. We think that, first of all, since the motion does allow uh, the children to come into the um, come into the youth group and then grow within the youth group and achieve to be in the higher level of footballs. There is not enough explanation coming out of CG on why we need the adults to be there in order for the children to want to be there and why specifically this mechanism is A, likely in terms of, I don't know why Syrian migrant is very likely to, uh, coming at an older age, be able to integrate into the football team and to be accepted into the football team, but also why this is much more necessary than the children being able to do it, and also just in general why it is very likely that they're going to accept the immigrants rather than other Spaniards, other international players, or things like that. We don't get enough explanation of why this is likely to happen, and also we get the idea that there are going to be other teams and we don't understand how important this specific team is to the integration when you can integrate into many, many other teams. So we think that this puts the extension coming out of CG in a problematic place compared to the materials coming out of uh, uh, the opening opposition, uh, the opening opposition in terms of the attacks that they get, and also in comparison to the open government where we get much uh, deeper analysis on why the outcomes and the impacts that they explain are actually very likely to happen and likely to uh, have a major impact in the debate. Um, so this is why we placed a uh, closing government beneath the opening house. Let's bring in the closing opposition. Um, so we think that closing opposition, much of the analysis is very similar to analysis already coming out of opening opposition. We do think that they add a lot of um, examples and intuitions as to why the analysis is correct, but we think that in terms of analysis we don't get a lot of new information. We get the idea that this we can be a very good team and this is going to allow us to bring a lot of national pride to the Basque people and then we can uh, sort of uh, see this as a national triumph and this is something that will help us build our national identity. We think that the main idea that is new in closing opposition and did not come in the opening opposition is the idea that the Basque people can either, um, since they are nationalistically oppressed, they can either go to terrorism or express their national desires in other more positive ways such as having a football club. We think that this is this part of the analysis, while it is new, is not done in very much depth. And we don't understand who are the people for whom the comparative is either being a fan of the Basque Football Club or becoming a terrorist, why this is a likely comparative and how often and to what extent this is the trade-off that we have within the debate. And we think that therefore um, a, a, this new material is not enough to be more important than the opening opposition because the likelihood that this is actually a, a, the comparative and actually what we're comparing in the debate is not a, a substantiated. Um, we think that um, this would put uh, the closing uh, opposition beneath the opening opposition in terms of the um, things that they bring into debate and again because we think that the impacts are under analyzed and it is not clear enough why the, the impacts that you're describing are very likely, this would also put you between be below the opening government. We think that when we come to compare between the closing government and the closing opposition, the main idea that we get in terms of engagement between the closing opposition and the closing government. So the closing government says, weighs the idea that uh, integration is going to be more important than matters of identity, but then as we said, the actual analysis on integration is lacking. And we think that CO do bring us direct attacks which are 
developed further than the attacks we already got from opening opposition to the analysis coming out of a, a closing government and the likelihood of the case. We think that CO do explain to us why there are many, A, why there are many other alternative groups that these people can, can go into and it is not clear why the Basque group is specifically so important in terms of the ability to integrate and and be the idea that it is not clear why it is very likely that you're actually going to, um, why you're actually going to, um, to bring in specifically these immigrants rather than other people. We think that these attacks, again, are contend well with the case coming out of closing government, and therefore we tend to put the closing opposition above the closing government. Are there any questions about the rationale? Okay, so thanks again. Um, you can come talk to me, you can come talk to my wings who were very good and helpful and I'm sure can give you good feedback as well. And good luck for the rest of the day. Okay. Uh, yeah.